Little Rescue, written and read by Ryan Thomas Shaw. Henry backed into the sheds. He had returned from the works after he had lost his regulator and was feeling very tired. The engines had ripped it into cheers once the big green engine had stopped. Percy sat on the next shed road and was confused to why they were all cheering. What's the fuss about? he whispered to James. Henry showed up two diesels yesterday. James chuckled. Serves them right for threatening us. It wasn't both of them, James. Seven or one of them is friendly, I assure you, Henry butted in, hearing the pair's conversation. I'll believe that when I see it, James grunted. Percy looked up at the big green tender engine. Henry, he queried, can you tell me about your rescue? Oh, of course, Percy, and Henry told the story about his super rescue. Next day, Percy sat in the goods loop at Farquhar as he waited for Mavis to arrive with some stone trucks. He sat and looked round the yard. I wonder where she is. Mavis isn't usually this late. She's stuck up the line, the yardmaster shouted, overhearing Percy. Apparently she overheated. Must be the summer weather. You've been given permission to collect her and take both Mavis and her train to the junction to save time and for her to visit the works. Oh dear, poor Mavis, Percy worried, as he set off up the tramway. Mavis was just beyond the dip. She was lucky not to be stuck in it. Percy buffered up gently. Are you all right, Mavis? he asked. Partly, Percy. I just feel really hot and stuffy. Nothing a rest in a tune-up won't fix. Percy was pleased at hearing this, and the two proceeded on through Farquhar and onwards down the line. Outside Hackenbeck, the train had to stop again. By now, Percy was beginning to feel put upon. Why do we keep stopping? he exclaimed, as his driver went to see what's up. He returned not too long after. Thomas has stood not far from here. One of his boiler tubes has collapsed. Goodness knows how. They're going to be stuck here for a while. Percy thought on these words, wincing at the thought of a collapsed boiler tube, but blanked that thought to think on what to do. He stopped his thoughts in memory of his conversation with Henry at the big sheds the night before. Driver, I've got an idea. Moving forward down the line, with Signalman's permission, Percy found Thomas and his coaches. Everyone cheered when they heard Saddle Tank's plan. Once he was coupled up, Percy mustered all the strength he would need to get to the next station. As soon as the safety valves lifted, his driver opened the regulator. Eventually, with a lot of wheel slip, the cavalcade started moving. Percy was soon red in the face, using all the power he had to keep Thomas moving, Annie moving, Clarabel moving, Mavis moving, himself and the line of stone trucks trailing behind moving. It was hot and tiring work, but Percy struggled on. At last he made it to Ellsbridge. The three small engines were moved off the train and Toby came for Annie and Clarabel, while James picked up the stone, Thomas and Mavis to take on to Croven's Gate. Percy was left to rest in the shed in the yards. It may have not been a super rescue like Henry's, but it certainly was a little rescue. And with that, the saddle tank engine fell asleep under the midday sun.